I was that girl with the anti-frizz hair cream in her purse, just in case. I always made sure I had at least five bobby pins on me at all times. I was terrified when the forecast called for rain. My hair was just too big. Like all of my fellow curly-haired girls know, our hair is more unpredictable than Miley Cyrus at an award show. I spent years flat ironing my hair and wishing for the simplicity of straight hair. People would comment on my curly hair saying that I was blessed. At least you can straighten it. My hair can't hold a single curl. My life was just so incredibly hard with curly hair. Why can't people see that? Honestly, I believed that I wasn't pretty with curly hair. When I wore my hair naturally, I felt like a Puerto Rican oh. Shirley Temple. I was intimidated by girls my age who had fabulous Blake Lively hair. Fabulous. At 26 years old, I'm finally realizing that I want to love and appreciate my natural hair. I'm tired of trying to make my hair do things that it does not want to do. <laughs> I want to feel beautiful as I am. I don't want to force myself to compete with this image of beauty that I see in magazines and movies. I was made beautiful. My frizz was made beautiful. Yes, you heard that right. Believe it. Next time we find ourselves freaking out over trying to tame our hair, maybe we should let our hair be wild. Embrace the curl. Loving my hair means loving myself. Hey there, culture. This is Hannah from LA. Keeping it real. Or not. <laughs> or not. Being awkward.